Hey y'all, it's me, Slave by Jordan. I should've put you somewhere with no define. Man, she not gonna speak with nothing around you. Hey, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you had desires. I know. All right, y'all. The company we are working with today is Tanache Hair. Let's get into all those goodies that came inside the packaging. They sent us over this beautiful 24 inch deep wave wig. Let's get into it. This is a 13 by 4 HG lace. The knots come pre bleached and the lace is pre plucked. It comes with four combs on the inside and two adjustable straps. The hair was soft, fresh out the packaging. It gave me no problems. I'm ready to install this wig. Let's get into it, baby. We're using our Ruby Kisses Foundation, level 16, the lightest shade in the palette, and we're gonna put that all over her lace. We've already put that same makeup on her cap off camera. Make sure that you spray that lace with hairspray before you apply it, just to make sure that that oiliness in the makeup is combated. So now you just want to position the wig on your client's or your model's head or your head. Make sure that the hairline of the wig is in front of the line of your cap. And then you want to cut out your ear tabs and then either use the adjustable straps on the comb or do like I do. I cut the combs and the straps out and I just sew it down for the most ultimate security. As you can see, I have that adhesive dotted in the shape of her hairline, and I'm just going to smooth that back as evenly as possible. Make sure that each layer turns clear before you apply the next one. I did four layers today. That last layer has turned clear, so now it's time to lay that lace down. And now we're going to take our blow dryer, interchange it between warm and cool air for about a minute just to make sure that that lace is secured to her skin. We're using our Tanache Melt Band today and we're just going to tie this lace down for at least 10 minutes. And remember, these lace bands automatically come inside your packaging. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday, yo. 
Her 10 minutes are up, so now it's time to take off that melt band, and now we're going to proceed to cut off that excess lace. You already know we're using our eyebrow razor. Let's get into it. If your lace isn't blending like mine, don't be afraid to add some more makeup to it and just be reminded that we are going to melt it down with our hairspray. So don't be don't be scared yet. Just just cut the excess lace off and we're going to get into it, okay? And then we're going to add one more round of makeup to that other side and then we're going to proceed to styling this hair. And as you can see, the lace is starting to blend more better. Like I said, you know, you just got to trust me. I'm going to get you right. We all go through the same thing. <laughs> so now I'm taking my wax stick and I'm just applying that all over the hair around her part. We are doing a curved side part today. This is a full 13 by 4 frontal, so you can do middle parts, side parts, and deep side parts. I love the fact that Tanache sends you a full 13 by 4. We love parting space. Yes, yes, yes. So now I'm taking my hot comb, we're just going to smooth that down. And then we're going to start parting out our hairs for our baby hairs because this is a curly wig. So you know we're doing the baby hairs like... Baby hairs and curly wigs just go together. Even if you don't wear baby hairs, like, come on, it's a curly wig. You gotta have you some swoops now. So now I'm going to take my Straight Recurse Hair Flex hairspray. I'm going to spray this all over the lace. I actually did the melting process on this wig twice, but to avoid that, you can just use a higher hole hairspray, like the Red Can't Even Spray, and that first melt will get you done. But I did this twice, uh, once right here, and then once at the very end after all the styling was done. But for right now, I'm just showing you the, only this process. But I just sprayed the lace with that hairspray, and I took my Tanache Melt Band and put that all over the lace. And yeah, we got straight to it. So after about 5 to 10 minutes, we took that melt band off. And as you can see, the lace is more secure. It's starting to look better. You can still see the lace, but don't worry. Like I said, we definitely melted this lace twice. But right now, we're focusing on the baby hairs. You already know. Hot comb them, cut them, curl them upwards, and swoop them with your mousse and tie them down, baby. And before we put her up under the dryer, we're just going to wet that hair down and brush it just to get some definition back into the hair. You know, after, you know, it being manipulated, you know, a lot of the deep wave just went away. So we want to get that 
that pattern back in the hair. So we're gonna wet it and just uh, comb it with our wide tooth comb. And then we're gonna sit her up under the dryer. This is the first step to our defining the waves in the hair process. And this is the hair after we wet it down and now we're going to sit her up under the dryer. She is now back from the dryer after 20 minutes on high and now we're going to take those wrap strips off and just show you the lace in the baby hairs raw. We are definitely going to tweak those baby hairs off camera. You know, I comb them out, pluck some out, cut them down, recurl some, and then just re-hold them down with my hairspray. And as you can see, we got those baby hairs looking good. We're going to get that lace together too, but for right now, we're about to do our braided style. Of course, we're using our Mink Little Braid Gel, the best braiding gel on the market. Come on, you all. And we're basically going to do two small braids in the same uh, shape and direction of her part. So we're going to make two small braids curve, you know, from the front of her hair to the back where the part stops, just like her part. It's really simple. You just... You can just watch what I'm doing and figure this out. It's very simple. I just added two braids in the same direction as her part.
jazz, feel good. This done jazz, yeah, done jazz. Just put the record, just put the record. If they like me, then chop at the two, my two, then no go catch up. Uh, oh, yeah, come back, no. My soul playing bare mouth. You go do you one time, my baby, for one time, I'm not to buy me, so. Anything you wish me, that be a passion. Mm, bad man, no, they walk up. Man, no, be God, no. Make them, they talk, uh. As you, they fly like helicopter. Nobody grace of God and inshallah with the move. Mm-hmm. Question, but then no get the answer. Mm-hmm. Question, but then no get the answer. Her braids are done, so now I'm taking my Clara Root Touch Up Pen nice and easy in the color dark brown, I want to say. And we're just defining those hairs that's. Um, around those braids and the part because you know even though we technically don't have a part anymore we still want everything to get very much you know nice and laid nothing over bleach or nothing like that as I did you know bleach the knot some more off camera I took my even um hairspray the red cam and sprayed it all over there and make sure all that root touch up pen and all that was dry because you don't want that transfer over to anything and now we're into part two of defining these deep waves I used my um cream of nature foaming wrap mousse and we just put that all over the hair and then i use my fingers to you know run it through i didn't really comb it or brush it or anything we just wanted to get that frizziness out the way we already had our definition back we just needed to you know add something that will hold the definition without it being frizzy because you know if you just spray water on your hair it will look like how the far right does it'll just be frizzy but you need like an actual product like a curling cream or a mousse once we did that, we sprayed her hair with the Beyond the Zone Turn of the Heat Spray to give it a beautiful gloss. As you can see, we got that lace looking better. Like I told y'all, we melted it again off camera because I couldn't have my girl out here looking crazy. But let's get into that final look. Thank you again to Nasha Hair for sending me this beautiful wig. All links and information on this wig is in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. Goodbye. Mwah.